This is Lorenzo. He fell in love with Jenna. I think my favorite thing about Jenna is her ability just to embrace who she is as a puppy. Puppy play is extremely important in my relationship. That's where a lot of like my, my love languages lie. Despite living a puppy dream, this canine couple have had to deal with some harsh judgment. I definitely do get a lot of hate. This person is just absolutely mental, like out of their mind. When we're in public, it can be a little bit embarrassing at times. I met Jenna at a photo shoot last year. We sort of clicked almost right away on set. After they met, there was one thing that Jenna had to make sure Lorenzo was on board with. So I started first pretending that I was a puppy when I was really, really little. I would ask my mom to play with the dogs with me, so I would just be one of the dogs. And my parents always asked when I was gonna grow out of it, <laughs> but um, I never did. Jenna lives a puppy lifestyle and had to make sure Lorenzo would be the right owner for all her puppy needs. When I first told him about this, he didn't shy away at all. He just was like, okay, cool. Like, so what do I need to do? So puppy play really was something that I've learned a lot of from Jenna. Some of her needs and feelings uh, are very similar, you know, to, to having a puppy, which I've never personally have, have had. But, uh, you know, it's something that I feel that I personally love embracing. Puppy play is extremely important in my relationship. That's where a lot of like my my love languages lie. Um, I It's very important to get a lot of praise, a lot of, you know, good job, you're doing great, you know, good girls. What I like about being a dog is the bond between like that one special person, like your owner. And yeah, like the day-to-day -day, like mannerisms of a dog that they have, you know. I like to be very carefree. I like not having, you know, a choice because it makes life so much easier. This is probably where I feel the safest at home. Um, it's kind of like my den. It's like my, my area that I can retire to and know that I'm safe and, you know, no one can get me. The first time I saw the cage, I was, um, I was sort of uh, shocked. I mean, it was, it was a lot bigger <laughs> than I thought. But once it was set up and I saw just how happy she was and comfortable, she, she really looks good and happy. And uh, I, I think it makes her a great addition to the room. Showing their puppy love on social media has led to people questioning their roles in the relationship. Some of the most negative comments, it's probably just people saying that I'm crazy. <laughs> This person is just absolutely mental, like out of their mind. A lot of people have said like, you know, are you being held against your will? Is he forcing you to do this? Like blink twice if you're okay. I know myself that I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not in trouble. I, I'm just kind of living my life out on the internet. And with that comes a lot of judgment. I try to comfort her and let her know that there may be a minority of people that feel a certain negative way about you, but you still have me that do care about you and love what you do. We're gonna go to the park, and I'm thinking we'll get some usual shots of you walking on a leash, take some videos, some photos, but mm -hmm. what if we throw a Frisbee and you catch it? In my mouth? In your mouth, that's right. And if you catch it in your mouth, you know what you get, right? Do a I treat. get a treat? Yes, a I get treat. a treat. Yes. <laughs> Only if you catch it. Are you ready to go? Yes. All right, I'm ready. let's go. Sit, sit. Good girl, you ready to go to the park? Yes, I'm ready to go. go. <laughs> go. So going to the dog park is obviously one of my favorite things. When we're in public, 
I can see how it can be a little bit embarrassing at times. There's weirder things out there, like a girl pretending to be a dog isn't really the weirdest thing. I think just for a lot of people, it's, it's new to see it in the way that she does it. I don't find it weird. I would say Lawrence is the best owner that I could ever ask for. He cares for me. I feel like the luckiest pup at the shelter. I want to give her that attention when she needs it, make her feel safe, and just overall see her happy and playful.